Greetings and salutations, viewers. I'm Star Princess HLC, and welcome back to Corpse Party Book of Shadows. When we last left off, we went through one hell of an introduction where, uh, we're basically Naomi trying to save Seiko from her untimely death, aka getting hanged in a bathroom stall. So, now we are in actual gameplay mode where we're actually looking around. And if I recall, we should get something to happen at certain points, depending. I'm not quite sure how this actually works. So, I'm looking, and I'm looking, but I don't really see anything of great significance here. So, what are my options again on what I have to do here? I don't even know. Oh well. I think it's safe to assume that I don't see anything here. But also, you see there at the bottom there, of the in the corner there with the little Sachiko charm? That's our darkening. That is of importance to us because depending on how far our darkening goes, could it result in a bad ending at certain points? Like, if you remember in the original Corpse Party, the darkening is essentially what happens when you slowly start to get succumb to the darkness and evil of the school to the point where you either could kill yourself or essentially kill others. Alright, so there's my map. So I guess I should move on to another area. I'm not going back in the nurse's office. I don't think I can go in the nurse's office. Well, let's see what happens. Nice that they got the little sprites back though. But yeah, this is a lot different. I don't like this place, all right. You still ended up staying there longer than you needed to, they know me just saying. <laughs> or not live, depending. All right, now we're into search mode. So again, you see whenever this is a different color, we can interact with it. Proper procedure for a dissection. You remember this thing, right? First and foremost, you must ensure that both arms and both legs are firmly pinned down, such that the subject is completely unable to move. You do realize dissection, the, cre the person or animal in question has to be already dead, right? Not in Corpse Party. Next, made a clean incision across the stomach and carefully peel the skin on both sides, exposing the subject's innards. Use pins to keep the... Um... The remainder of the page is so stained and faded that it's completely illegible. Oh boy. And then there's the diary over there. Well, a photo. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's definitely not a recent photo. This is new. Who are you, sir? Yeah, maybe. Either that or a job interview. Or a mugshot. But he's dressed way too nice for a mugshot. Hmm, could be, who knows? Oh well. Oh. There are a large number of bottles lined up on this shelf here. Each one of them seems to be packed tightly with small chunks of unidentifiable meat, and the smell suggests they've been here for quite a while. Funny, considering I think in the original one it was just full of, you know, Stuff you'd see in a nurse's office, and that's where we got the rubbing alcohol, which we used to get ourselves out of the infirmary by setting a bunch of hairs on fire. Anything else in here while I'm looking? I half expect at some point to, like, turn around and, oh, there's a monster. It's an old-fashioned space heater, but it's so full of ash that it'll probably never light again. Yeah, and that's where we got our matches, which saved our ass. Did I already look over here? 
Yeah, I know. The photograph of a young man on the desk. I can't take it with me? Probably not a good idea. Alright, what about here? There's a pair of scissors on one of the shelves. His blades are stained with blood. Well, I guess Sachiko was here recently. Then there's some beds. All things considered, there's surprisingly little dust on these beds. There's nothing under them, is there? No, there isn't. Good. Anything else over here? All things could... Nope, okay. Nothing under the beds. Well, in that case, let's just move on to another area. Uh, let's try to go down this hall. Might as well at least explore as much as I can before actually progressing with the plot. Search mode. Search mode. A large hole in the floor. Too big to jump across. Getting to the other side won't be possible from here. Nope. Is there anything else around here while I'm looking? Doesn't look it. It's a really high ceiling, I'll give you that. Let's see, I can't do anything with the winders. Okay, fair enough. How's my darkening so far? 12%. That's not very good. Alright, I'm not gonna save just yet. But I will keep going. So I guess I'll go down this hall since I can't do anything with the other hall. Might as well go down each one individually just to see what we have. Oh, that's a lovely sound. Oh. <laughs> uh, funny you should mention that. <laughs> The buzzing of the of the flies does not help either. Oh, you would probably try not to vomit even more when you find out who that is. I'm just saying, grossage. I can just hear the buzzy buzz. I don't see it. I can hear it, and I probably could smell it if I actually bothered to look. Alright, so I'll move down the hall some more. The door to science lab is frozen in place as if it's just a decoration on the wall. It can't be opened. Okay, good to know. I can't do that. Alright, so let's just keep searching around, see if we can find anything. How's my darkening? 17%. It's not very good. I keep pressing the wrong buttons. It's, oh. Nope, frozen place. Just decoration on the wall. Can't be open, so... I can't go in there. So... In that case, I guess I'll just keep going down the hall. Fun. まるで一歩ごとに不安という霧が体に絡みついてくる感覚。いや、that's quite a way to describe it, just saying. Oh, fear is like a slime covering your entire body. It just keeps squishing around and it won't come off. What? Yeah, we probably should actually be hurrying along to try and save Seiko, but Seiko! Exactly, I had a bunch of hair in my mouth. What was that? Tsuro no Saki no Makura Yami. 
斜めに縦に複数なんだろう Sinewy string stretched across the hall? Oh! So, 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 yeah! Don't touch those! They are a great form of death! You're putting a lot of emphasis on the fact that you're bleeding. You're really fascinated by the fact that you're bleeding! Kind of like piano wires, but, uh, not quite. It might have been. Never know with Sachiko. She's got a sick sense of humor. Oh, I know what would have happened. You would have died horribly. You would have been sliced into various pieces. I don't know. Probably the one who runs this place. Likely, yes. I'm fairly certain this place has eyes. Very much so, yes. There's about four of them, actually. Actually, no, five. Well, one's a mindless shambling cusk, so I don't know. Maybe you should? I don't know. Don't tell them that! Don't give them the satisfaction to know that you're scared. Great. Yeah, okay, so I'm not going that way. Hmm, we need a katana. Or we could grab those scissors we got from the infirmary. We saw in the infirmary. Okay, why not? Don't do that. The sudden movement just kind of startles me. Like, what's going on there? Alright, I'm on to search mode again. Nothing matters at this point. Alright, fine. So I can't go that way yet. Let's see here. At least I can see the whole map. To an extent. Alright, well, I'm fairly certain I have to go back into the nurse's office and grab scissors there. But let me just explore the rest of the hallway first. The door to classroom 3A is frozen in place as if it's just a decoration can't be opened. Gotcha. There is a note here on the wall. Smudgy blood red lettering reads, Getting close to the darkness is one way to learn the truth. This whole place sits at close to darkness after all. Oh boy. That's great. I'm so happy for you. And oh, the door is uh, is. Very much stuck. Cannot be opened. Fun. <laughs>